The following problem is a growth problem because we're talking about investing. So we're going to use the formula y equals c times 1 plus r to the t. Um, remember, c is always our initial amount when we're talking about investments. And so in this problem, if you look at it, well, we don't know how much you initially invested. We don't know that. We do know the rate, though. It totals 5%. So we always write that rate as a decimal. So instead of 5%, we write 0 0.05. We know the time. It says three years from now. Now, this, what's different about this than other problems is we know the end amount. That's what Y is. Y is what you end up with. And it told us that it's $2,315.25 or $2,315.25. Or $2, or so now it's just a matter of substitution. So you, you plug in those values into the equation, into the growth equation. So 2315.25 goes into for Y, 0 0.05 for R, and 3 for T. Now you just simplify. Uh, when you simplify, you're going to want to simplify the 1 plus 0 0.05 first, and that just is 1.05. That's an easy addition. Then, we still can't do anything. We need to get rid of that exponent. So we need to take 1.05 to the third power. And so that's our next step, is to take 1.05 to the third power, and that's going to give us C times, well, we've got to type it into our calculator, so just do 1.05 to the third power. You should always do exponents on their own, and that gives us 1.57. Uh, 625. Now we just have a normal equation. We divide both sides by 1.157625, and it turns out that C is going to equal 2,000. So we're able to actually back out how much money we made and find out how much we started with. So it's a new way to do the problem. Um, so he invested $2,000 for three years at 5%, and then thus ended up with what was said in the problem, $2,315.25.